talk about short sellers short selling a stock to the ground look at workhorse they have an over 40 percent short interest this is going to lead to a massive massive short squeeze so we're going to be going over the ortex data as well as the technical analysis and what trade that i put on today so you guys want to stay through this video this could be the next big short squeeze along with a lot of other stocks but workhorse definitely has the odds in its favor with that being said make sure to tap tickle touch or smash the like button for me as well as comment down below are you playing workhorse are you looking to get into workhorse what you think about it as well as subscribe to the channel all three of those things being done simultaneously helps push this video out to a bigger audience and hopefully get these short short squeeze now with that being said i don't want to waste any more time getting into it let's take a look at the ortex data guys and for today these shorts have a lost their minds we have a 6.36 percent change in short interest for the day we have shorts that covered 866.94 thousand shares get this borrow shares of 3.85 million so we had a net short interest gain of 2.98 million shares guys this is going to be huge absolutely insane and i do want to take a brief look at take a look at this volume 154 million in volume today this is so big compared to anything else we have seen in a very very long time only similar to what we've seen on the last price last last rally but that was 25 million less so this is gonna be huge i am so convinced of it but take a look at this percent free flow on loan 40.77 percent shares on loan 46.88 million cost to borrow 4.54 percent nothing too crazy there utilization 96.03 percent so out of you know, 100%, 96.03% of the total shares institutions are willing to sell short are actually sold short. So that is a huge number right there. And overall, guys, they are shorting it to the ground. They don't think people are going to recognize this. Even today, look at that borrowed shares, 3.85 million. Absolutely insane. I just don't understand their logic. Now, Workhorse, as far as today, was up 28.21% down 2.84 percent in after hours and i did make a trade on this i kind of high ticked it at about 16 dollars, so i did get a little clapped but i do think it's a great trade overall probably should have got more time on it i got a workhorse 19 dollar call for june 18th i bought one of them for 390 dollars ouch um it's worth uh $253 right now i'm down 35.13 percent on it on on it but i don't see this as a bad trade at all i think it'll actually perform very very well there's going to be some form of short squeeze with this especially if we do get a hike in volume in the next couple of days like we've seen today so all in all i do think it'll be good and i do expect us to you know go to about 15 dollars tomorrow maybe even more than that if we do uh see a lot of people start to turn their head to workhorse now as far as the technical analysis we can see the 50-day moving average currently at 13 dollars 56 cents and we do have a strong strong support at about 14 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and mark this right now that's pretty much the level we are at right now we're 14 dollars 33 cents but essentially 14 dollars is our key level to be watching here that is really where you get some strong consolidation we fell under that briefly a couple times but we pop right back up every single time so i do think that's a strong level as of right now and the 200 day moving average sits at $10.34. I don't think we're going back there, especially now that Workhorse is starting to get some attention. Now, take a look at the MACD. It was a wild, wild day for the MACD. We went positive and it looked bullish earlier in the day, actually yesterday. And then we were bullish all the way up until today and we started selling off. Look at those outflows start to come in. And we were bearish on the MACD and then we go positive for a brief period and then we went negative again on the MACD take a look at these outflows guys look at all these red candle outflows absolutely insane we are still looking bearish on the MACD given we were up 28% today is absolutely crazy and I do expect this to turn bullish tomorrow uh, which is just crazy because you you'd think we would be pretty bullish on the macd but we're not i do expect it to turn positive tomorrow as, as far as the the rsi relative strength index we we're pretty much in the middle nothing too crazy to be seen here but given we were up 28 percent today i do think it's good that we are in the middle right here it 
as, as far as a rally to the upside, if we do start to rally, it'll take us a little bit longer to get into overbought territory. So I do think overall it looks pretty good here. We could see in the morning we even went as high as $18.33. So that is going to be somewhat of a resistance level. But for right now, I just want to mark the $16.38 mark. That's going to be a bigger resistance. And I do expect to kind of trade in between these two levels, $14 and $16.50. But if we do get that breakout above $16.50, it'll be very good. And we'll have a lot of eyes turning to workhorse. As far as people that missed out on AMC, they're definitely going to want to be up part of this next one now as far as our upper end resistance level it's pretty much at that $18 mark uh, I actually messed that up but about $18 is going to be our upper end resistance level if we do break that then we're going absolutely crazy on workhorse that is our resistance level all the way back from May 6th or uh, March 16th excuse me when we really started to sell off and really really started to sell off down to $7.01 on the low end so if you are a long-term investor in uh, in workhorse then you're probably happy about this probably not a bad time to exit your shares after the squeeze does happen but at a 40 what 40 41 percent short interest there's no way a squeeze doesn't happen unless people turn a blind eye to this but anything is really possible people are so focused on other stocks anything could happen here but overall i do think it'll be good and as far as a better way to trade this because i kind of didn't get enough time on this i do like the july 16th one because they have a lot of liquidity and a lot of options are traded on this but i do want to go closer to the money so i don't think these 15 dollars strikes for 375 73 dollars are bad at all right here that puts your break even at 18 dollars 73 cents i do think with a short squeeze we could go to about 30 that 30 dollars on the high end we could go higher than that if we do get a lot of good volume people start to turn their head to workhorse which is possible but i would say about 30 dollars is a reasonable level for a 40 percent interest short squeeze as well as a gamma squeeze if we do start to see people pile into options it doesn't look like they're going too crazy with them as of right now i'll really have to go back to the weeklies and take a look at this this what are these at six thousand yeah so nothing too crazy twenty five thousand here so if we do start to see workhorse make a move to about fifteen dollars then market makers will start to hedge these options especially around sixteen dollars but these do expire tomorrow so i'm not too jumpy about those take a look at the june 11th we could see 2500 in volume yeah nothing too crazy here 7400 uh 2600 yeah so not a lot of options actually being purchased i think it's a lot of the shares because we did have a lot of volume today 154 million if i do remember correctly so it does look good and that is why i made a trade on this and i don't plan to sell this i'm just gonna hold it and hope for the best really if it does go up a lot i will sell it out and probably go for the july 16th like i said but if you guys want to stay up to date with the moves that i am making check out the link down below in the description for the buy and sell alerts we have been killing it over there guys over the past couple of trading days alone you would have made enough in profits to cover the cost for about five years so check that out if you want to as well as get up to 70 dollars in whatever free stock of your choice let me know what you get down below no deposit necessary two minute sign up time and you can even link a debit card or credit card so i've been getting tesla let me know what you get down below in the comment section i'm gonna get out of here you guys take care